Hi and assalamu alaikum welcome back once again to technology information channel today in this video we are going to briefly explaining the speed controller model c2002 model which is used all type of generator okay the complete wiring diagram explanation and also the adjustment drop ideal and starting fuel and speed ramping so let's get started as you can see here our uh, model of c2002 speed controller have a terminal TV, speed adjustment potentiometer, and also complete detail of this controller in this video. First of all, if you are installing this controller, please understand before the installing of this controller. This is the DC voltage system. So let's get started to understand the installation of the controller C2002 speed controller to understand the complete wiring installation of the, this controller. First of all, as you can see here, the overview of the controller. This is our C2002 speed controller. Okay. First of all, we are going to explain the wiring connection of this controller. Here we have a TV, have 14 pins, input and outputs. Okay. First of all, we are starting from the left side. As you can see, pin number one and pin number two. This is the output to the activator. Okay. This is a two simple wire is uh, AC generating current out to the actuator as you can see here this is our actuator and the metal between here we have a coupler okay two wire coupler connector as you can see we can connect this is the output to the actuator okay also this is the AC current okay after that pickup what's mean by pickup three and four pin number four and three this is pickup. What's mean by pickup? Pickup means RPM sensor or you can call MPU. Okay. This is the input of the MPU. Okay. As you can see, MPU is a small, like a small AC generator, generating pulse width modulation. Okay. This is generating a small amount of AC current and input to the this speed controller. Okay. From 3 volt to 36 volt AC current okay after that pin number five and six this is our battery input to the this controller okay this controller also need input supply from 8 volt to 32 volt dc okay pin number five is our battery negative input and pin number six is our battery positive input if we follow the wiring first of all as you can see the pin number five follow this pin number five wiring where it is going as you can see this is going to the and going going here is our battery okay 24 volt system this is connected with the battery negative or with the engine ground chassis ground okay and pin number six if we follow this pin number six wire as you can see this one this one is going to the here we have a fuse here is one toggle switch and here is splice with another wire if we follow this splice wire where is going that as you can see uh Downside as you can see another splice junction here and this is going to the battery positive post. Okay. Here we have some toggle switch and uh, as you can see power switch for the fuel pump supply or power switch for the speed controller and actuator. Okay. Here we have some toggle switch in the wiring route. Okay. But in a simple words, this is the battery uh, input supply to the controller. Okay. After that, pin number seven. Pin number 7 and pin number 8 as you can see. Pin number 7, sorry, pin number 7 and pin number 9. Here we have a toggle switch as you can see. Sorry, the remote speed controller potentiometer. Okay. We can remotely control the, the generator speed through this potentiometer. This is a remotely. Okay. We can install this from the long distance to control our generator speed and adjust through this potentiometer. Okay. Remotely like of uh, 20 or 30 meter away a generator and we can only control by this potentiometer to doing wiring okay and in, and, and install this potentiometer and rotate anti-clockwise and counterclockwise to increase and decrease the engine speed okay and the pin number 10 as you can see if you follow this pin number 10 where is going this is going to the idle rated switch okay pin number 10 and pin number 11 okay this is controlled manually by on and off the idle speed of the generator okay what's mean by idle speed idle speed means 
the bigger generator need to uh, first of all to start in a lower rpm okay we cannot start the bigger size of the generator instantly to the rated rpm because it's uh, not for good for the engine first of all we start first of all we need to run the generator in our ideal rpm ideal rpm is from the uh, for example uh, our generator uh, have a rated rpm 1800 we need to run this generator in 800 rpm in initial start okay for one minute or one and a half minute then close the toggle switch the generator start start increasing uh, the speed of the engine automatically to reach the 1800 rpm and then stop okay after that as you can see here the pin number 12 the pin number 12 and the pin number 7 as you can see the pin number 12 and the pin number 7 okay this is for the idle rate rated switch okay and the pin number 10 and the pin number 11 this is for the drop switches okay what's mean by drop switches drop switches means if our engine is drop the rpm on a load from the 1800 to 1750 rpm increase dropping the speed engine with the applied load this automatically increases the speed of the engine to reach the 1800 again okay to stabilize the engine frequency in rpm okay this is the drop switches okay to use for the drop system if you don't want to drop system you can off this through this toggle switches okay, if you want to enable the drop system you can on this toggle switch to engine adjust it your our speed to rated rpm through the on load to drop the uh, rpm that's automatically increase the engine speed to reach the specific rated rpm okay the last one is 13 and 14 is our auxiliary connection okay auxiliary connection auxiliary means extra connection we can use for another purposes okay then we'll dc output supply and on and off switches okay so let's move to check the adjustment setup as you can see here we have a starting fuel every engine need to adjust the starting fuel of the engine okay then after the speed ramping okay adjustment of speed ramping okay fluctuating of the speed you can adjust from here and also the engine stability the governor stability here and also the voltage gain you can adjust from the here and you can adjust your drop setting from this voltage meter and idle speed you can increase and decrease from the this switches and also the engine drag speed increase and decrease from this voltage meter manually okay as you can see if we read this one caution the power must be supplied by the battery and cannot be supplied by the generator you need to connection after this controller as you can see here the battery input 5 and 6 not from the charging alternator direct from your battery we can for the probability of the power when is starting our service servicing refer to product specification do not uh, uh, carefully install the negative to the negative and positive to the positive because this is the dc system to prevent from the blowing okay this is the complete explanation of, of the wiring diagram of this controller if you have further any question please write comment in the comment section if you need to the pdf manual of this controller please write your uh, email comment in the comment section i will give you the complete pdf file of this controller thanks for watching see you all next time on the office